Hi. Celtic spirituality have this has this very interesting concept called the thin place. Thin T H I N for those who not use the way I pronounce my T H. Thin place. It's um. It's a little difficult to explain. It's it's a place where we can see the divine and our world can connect. A place where God can be experienced. If I may imagine you're in a dark room and then suddenly a door opens very slightly and there's a little beam of light that breaks in the room that cut the darkness. And you look at that light and you find it beautiful, almost as this light is, and this space where this light is, uh, special. There's something different about it. So the, these thin plays are most often not spectacular uh, experience in our life. Um, imagine you're with your loved one or friends, family, uh, maybe around the table eating, and then it comes to you almost as if you take a step back from your being, and you realize that this moment could not be more perfect. You feel that for no specific reason, some sort of profound happiness. You feel that everything is in sync. Everything is aligned. Everything is in its place. And those moments does not last long from my experience. I, I don't know about you. And we cannot recreate them on demand. They just happen. But when they happen, they gave the those moments gave us this energy that lasts for a long time that feed us. I'm speaking about that because next Sunday is Transfiguration Sunday, and maybe well maybe you heard the story often, depending of the details. Uh, sometimes are not the same from one gospel another, but basically. Jesus takes a few of his disciples and goes, and they all go to the top of the mountain. And that's a clue. That's a clue because uh, through the Bible, each time a character goes on the top of the mountain, something special will happen. And of course, in this case, uh, Jesus starts to shine <laughs> without any other explanation. And after their initial surprise, uh, Peter uh, started to babble <laughs> a few things, and and he wants to 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 let's do something to capture the moment, and we'll stay here. And I'm sure Peter was an ex extrovert. You know, he's thinking on his feet. He's thinking as he's speaking. He's not like pondering and then speak. No. Like extrovert, I'm an extrovert, like extrovert does. But the response the disciples receive is from, from God is basically, don't talk, don't do, just listen, just be in the moment. And too often we do the same. We try to explain fate. We try to prove logically the existence of God. We, we try to solve scientifically Jesus' miracle in, in the Gospels. But from people of, I believe, all ages, the white majority don't want to understand God. They want to experience God. They want to experience something special in their life. They experience the divine in their life. And the challenge to all of us is to be attentive to those little moments when they happen. 
because they do happen. And like I said, you cannot create them. They just burst into our lives. And, and we're very often not prepared for it. We don't expect them. They just happen. And that's the challenge for us about the story of the Transfiguration. Celtic spirituality would call the, call the story a, a thin place. It happened and not really what well if it how it happened is not really important. How Jesus started to glow is not really important. The point is that they have this experience. They experience the divine. And this experience moved them deeply, transformed them deeply, and gave them the little oomph to continue their ministry, to understand what Jesus is trying, was trying to do, what was their call. And that's what I hope we will all discover when those thin place moment will happen to us to live them and then not try to explain them but say okay that was great let's continue our lives once again thank you for watching i'm reverend stefan vermet and remaining the lectionary man and until next time take care of yourself and bye-bye